Welcome back to Father and Two Plays Skyrim. So we gotta talk to this lady. Don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. What is this place? You are an Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinneret has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? And that tree? Is that Elder Gleam? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Why not? As you can see, Elder Gleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Elder Gleam herself would lift her roots for. More out of fear than respect. You mean this weapon? The rumors were true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Hmm. Do I have a choice? Not if I want to finish the quest, I guess. Hmm, I feel a little bad about this. Not apparel, weapons. I feel like I'm killing the Deku tree or something. I don't feel right. Now. Ah. All right, friggin. Wow, you roasted that friggin. That is some lightning. The forest spirits don't seem happy with me. I mean, the Spriggans mostly don't even like you walking through the forest, so... But I don't take this... Hey, wait. Were all the people here actually Spriggans? Oh. I think that was the case. Yeah, I think that the hell I was stuck on that fence. I think that's what actually happened. Yeah, wait, no. They killed everyone, the Spriggans? Huh. So we pissed them off and the the Spriggans ran in here and killed them, okay. I am uh, Peckish. That's a good word. I like that word. Peckish. Did you know that uh, the proper way of saying that I haven't eaten used to be I haven't at I haven't at yet? I think that was the proper way to say it. So you'd say, hey, have you at yet? Yeah, you had anything to at? Now I'm not certain on that. I know that my dad uses it. Maybe it, it was slang, but I think it was the proper way to say it. Another cave. I've spent enough time underground myself, but if you want to go in, I'm right behind you. Sorry to cut you off there. Um... Should we make our way to Riften? 
Or should we just travel back? We should travel back. So we want to head west. Maybe along the way we'll find a bed to rest in. Can you die from being too tired? Probably. If any of your meters go all the way down. You could probably die from that. Man, I love this music. It's, it's the perfect, um... Adventuring, fantasy adventuring music. Hmm. A bridge less traveled? By us? Hello, Spiida. Okay, bring it on. Round one, let's fight! Fatality! Done and Thank you so much, you're the best. Those things wanted to kill me and she was all like, nah. Is it mage light that I want or candle light? I think I want candle light. Maybe I should use Mage Light as well. I mean, it can't really hurt. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Fast healing, that's what I want. Hmm, takes a fair amount of magic up. Heard somebody scream in there. Oh, shit. What's going Never on? Should have come. Okay, now the ice mage. Teamwork right there. Yeah, by you and that guard. We're a TM! time is it? I guess I can hit this. I was gonna say, it seems like the sun might be starting to come out, but I guess it also could be uh, just a really clear night. Man, you gotta give them credit on that, even if Bethesda's not perfect at uh, story writing. They tend to not give you a lot of choice, because that requires a ton. I don't want to say that. You get a lot of choice on who your character is by what you do, but the quests and the main quests don't really have a lot of branching options because that takes a ton of writing. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. But you definitely have to give them credit for creating worlds that feel pretty alive and are beautiful. Like the artwork. Look at that. It's just incredible. This is a place I would actually want to visit. You know, if it was real, I'd travel there to Skyrim instead of to, you know, you're likely to die, but... I traveled to Skyrim instead of, you know, Greece. Though I'd like to go to Greece. Anywhere with ancient structures would be pretty cool. Hopefully they're not all full of Draugr. But, like, the, they make worlds that I would want, except for Fallout, maybe. <laughs> oh, the Elder Scrolls games, I've wanted to go to their worlds, even though there are, you know, six foot tall plus spiders um which is horrifying I'd still want to go there because there's also magic and like there's that bear I killed ah oh, it would be enjoyable I I'd like to visit um Middle Earth and that place is deadly as all hell depending on when you went there and where you go but it, it still seems like an awesome place to go. I love survival mode in games. It's 
so enjoyable for me. I, I don't know why. Uh, maybe not everyone likes it, because you gotta min-max... Not min-max, that's not even the term I want. You gotta manage so many different things. Um, and they're basically arbitrary. It just makes it more difficult, and depending on how you play, more, more annoying. But it feels so much more immersive to me. Like, oh man, it's been a while, I need to eat. Getting weak. Um, that kind of cerebral stuff gets me into a video game. Even if it's intangible. You know, uh, The Last of Us, it, it, it feels like you're surviving when you... Oh, we could put back on our armor. when you have to stop and make camp and you're you're scavenging stuff and I imagine in my head oh right because now it, it weighs me down only five pounds though so we could get rid of something I mean let's use a potion to strength what was I saying Oh yeah, I just imagine the survival aspect of The Last of Us, and it helps me immerse myself even more. And then I, I want to use very little bullets, and I don't want to get spotted even if I do, because, you know, every gunfight could be your last, and every clicker you run into should be taken care of as quietly as possible. But the... D&D uh, has a system for camping and you could get as as into it or not as you want. And for me, I like the camping to be, you know, everyone sits around, you maybe talk a bit, uh, people are up on their watches and they do a few rolls to, to see if they spot anything. I like to break it down and make it more extensive. And I think that it's the... I, I modify the rules to, to make the game more fun, in my opinion. Um, and I like to let people roll as much stuff as possible. Um, and I never want them to know the difficulty class of something. I want it to be like, hey, maybe something happens, maybe it doesn't. You have no idea. And, uh, you know, you roll a 25, but it's a 30. I'm not going to tell you there was something that could have happened if you got a 30. See what you've got. See what you got on the inside. They say mercy, but I don't think you can actually spare them. Pardon me while I have a drink. I mean, for two pounds, you gotta take that. Thanks for your help, by the way, White Run Guard. Yeah, so immersion is a big, big factor for my enjoyment for video games, most of the time. Sometimes something's meant to be taken really lightly, and I could get behind that too. You know, you're not, you're not supposed to care too much about why your Rocket League cars are rocketing around, or whether they're RC cars or actual cars with people in them, or whether or not there's, um... <laughs> that, that surprised me whether or not those balls that are out in the crowd are actually the crowd. If they're supposed to represent people, or people have evolved into orbs, or whatever they are. That's stuff for me to think about. Not everyone needs to think about that stuff. See, even there, I I've got a level of immersion into that game that's just about hitting balls into a net with rocket cars. That's my... yeah. I don't enjoy a game when I can't immerse myself. Sometimes the kids are up and crying off and on, and I love them, and I gotta take care of them. And it ruins my immersion, and I would rather be with them than be immersed in a video game, obviously. But then I enjoy the game less, so I have to find a time where my immersion isn't interrupted for maybe an hour at a time. We 
get warm next to this brazier. I think we tried that before. It doesn't work. However, can we get warm next to this bonfire? Or campfire, I should say. Yes, we can. I knew we could. We're tired. So... Once we're in town, we'll sell some of the things we've come across. We'll give them the sap from Eldergleam, which I'm still not feeling super good about. And, uh... We'll figure out where we need to go to next to do our main story mission. Getting up there. Level 39. Only 30 levels away from the best level possible. Alright. Alright. My brain is not... Okay, it's warm in town here. My brain's all of a sudden not working. So we're here to sell some stuff. But we can't do it till morning. So we're going to rent a room. Which possibly is still ours. I work with my mother. To sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun, though. We'll stay the night at the Bannered Mare in the morning. We shall consume some food. Okay. You know what? We won't use a potion till morning. Actually, I'm being stupid, aren't I? Because I could just give her something, oh, right? What is it? Anything good? Depends on what you think is good. Right, my arrows now weigh me down. At least they're all point one. I'm pretty sure in Morrowind, maybe in Oblivion, Daedric arrows weighed like point five a piece or something. Oh yeah, you like staffs. <laughs> oh, that's not enough though. Yes? If you think it'll help. Here's that music back again, being awesome. I mean, this is different music, but their musical choices are very, very classy. Very good. Good show, Bethesda. Uh, still, to this day... Yeah, it's still my bed. Uh, if I hear... I was pressing up for some reason. If I hear the Morrowind or Oblivion intro, obviously this game too, but... You know, not for as much nostalgia purposes as I'm currently playing this. Uh, I get goosebumps. You know, I hear the Morrowind theme and it it makes me remember spending a bunch of time with my older brother playing and uh, both of us learning the game and developing our characters, both playing on our own TVs. Ah, he sold there, was it? What brings you to the market? Such good music. Oh, no. I'm here to buy food, Nazim. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Oh, yeah, we could eat something. Uh, do, do, do. Not hot stuff. We want to keep that. Somewhere in here. Salmon steak. That seems like a perfect thing. Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or a tender rack of ribs. Ah, Bellathor. My good man. I have some wares to peddle. Where's my my partner in crime? There you are. What now? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. It may or may not be. Okay, you like staffs. I'll let you hang on to those ones. Um, do any of them need charging? Because I could just get rid of them once they need charging. Okay, she's good. Take those boots. Hanging on to my extra potions. Yeah, we're and my food. Good stuff. Everything's for sale. I'd even buy one of your rel. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Mm, I don't need that. Don't need it. Don't need it. 
Uh, I want to buy his Grand Soul uh, gem with the Grand Soul in it. Okay, no weapons for him. Want to sell him that stuff. You can have that. I think I still need a glass helm, so I'll hang on to that. Hmm. Sell a couple of those. I mean, I haven't used that yet, so let's just... Oh, crap. Well, what else do I have to sell? Food. Got a fair amount of food. Ingredients. Those books I'll hang on to. Okay, some pelts. I could make those all into... Um, Do leather. come back. Then I could craft some stuff and sell it. That's a, yes. a bit annoying. Not sure I want to be a vampire anymore. I don't want to be a vampire. Um, this is exactly what I need to use. I'm sorry, but I know it's yours, but it's mine now. Carrying too much starts draining your stamina. You're okay. someone who can get things. Take a look. Hmm. Don't need that. Oh, hang on to those. Iron ore, definitely want that. Ebony, not so much right now. So that's it. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Getting a bit cold, huh? I thought it was warm in town here. I guess the winds are blowing. The winds of change. So let's go... This isn't the way. Let's go up here and bring them the sap. Bring out the sap. Bring out the sap. this place? Oh, a crypt or something? Yeah. I mean, Hall of the Dead most likely is a crypt, right? Hello there! Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? Um, why don't we May commence Kinaret's this from a little winds blow you to fortune. I've got the sap. Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. So I probably killed one tree to save another. Grace of Kinareth be with you. Hmm. Wonder if it was worth it. Okay, so quests, questages. Quick save first and quests. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. Let's uh, turn that in. So we're gonna go take a coach. Carriage to Winterhold. It's gonna be cold as hell, but we shall survive. If only through sheer grit and determination and hot soup. I think we're gonna have to avoid the water. Yeah, carriage it down here. I was like, wait, where am I going? This is exactly where I want to be. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? <sighs> College of Winterhold. Yeah. Climb so we and want back Winterhold. and we'll be off. All right. I can't wait here forever. 
It'd be cool if other people would uh, join us. That's the statue at the College of Winterhold, I think. He's probably using magic to blow back his robes and make it look badass like that while they carved his uh, statue. Ooh, I'm very My hungry. Job is very cold. Not waste time. To... Yeah, I guess it's not a covered wagon, is it? <laughs> and we did we not stop and get near a fire at any point? I can't still be cold. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Yeah, so it looks like it's about a thousand. I don't think I have to stand right I say, there. You didn't hear any loud noises last night, did you? No, uh, explosion sounds? <laughs> no, I certainly didn't. Is there a reason you're asking me? No, certainly not. <laughs> a small experiment may have gone awry, but clearly with no discernible consequences. I see. <clears throat> and is this something I'll need to worry about in the future? Oh, certainly, I hope not. That would be quite unfortunate for my research. Well, isn't this a surprise? <laughs> How much of our money have you spent today, That was like Daniel? a sitcom. Anything my days at the oh, college so are long this. behind me. But I prefer if I wanted to get yelled at, I'd be home. Can't you leave me be? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? Am I making your life more difficult? Dude, your wife's pretty. I'm just trying to have a quiet drink here, all right? You don't... look at you. You're... Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight no. or something? Even Ranmere can... Dagor and I have an understanding. Let's just he keep an eye on the supply. And I make sure my experiments don't blow up his What do I look I like now? I suppose that's a benefit to having so few customers. <laughs> How can you tell? Let us go into college. They he looks like a cat safer. person. It's all good. I'm white and everything. It looks if there's anything you need, if you're business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from, in fact. Oh, I would sure like thing. to rent a room, my it's man. Sure for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right Please this do. Way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right, my man. Well, let's sleep for a couple of hours. It's gonna be late at night. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. <laughs> you are a real douche, my man. I could probably go all I'd say vampire just about lord. Anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind. Can't tell if I hear a dragon or it's just the wind. God, he's frying me alive. Vigorous healing. Um, and up oh, items, apparel. We're gonna put on our better armor. get any um, elemental block from using our shield. Oh, that's not what I want. I want fast healing. Damn it. I want you in that hand, and I want my shield in that hand. It's not so hard. Bump, bump. 
potions, please. You know what? I'm gonna summon on my dragon. Alright, I'm all good to go on that. Where the hell did it go? Our dragon seems to be a little... asleep or something. <laughs> Where are you at, dragon? I'm so cold already. up for my potions and Okay. Let's go get warmed up. Went through a door. Your soul is mine still. My days at the college are long behind me, and I prefer to stay close by. What is it? Anything good? Yeah, well, do you like glass? Okay, so are we good? I think we're good now. Alright. Let's quick save. Air is treacherously cold. Good thing we got some hot soup. Looking for some hot soup, baby, this evening. Looking for some hot soup, baby, tonight. See, you get it, because it's evening. It's nighttime. And that's a song. Okay, so we should go along here, I think. And we must avoid the water like the plague, I think. Okay, just a little bit. Not so bad. I was trying to jump there, not pull out my bow, if you're wondering. Yeah, I'm a bit cold. Oh, I should have got a torch. I need a torch. That would help us stay a little warmer. Oh my god, we're gonna have to... It's a quick save, because this might be like instant death, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Damn. Gotta wait out that timer a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I'll try it without. Okay, so if we're not fully submerged, it doesn't seem to be so bad. I mean, 
I'd still want to go dry off at a fire. Yeah, you know what, Horkers? No. I don't feel like it. I have a feeling like this will make us more, uh, pervious to the cold. across the water, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, a vampire isn't so bad. Also, I could turn into bats. I have a bunch of options for how I could, uh, get about. I'm oh, getting off track here. Crash ship there. That's that's pretty awesome. Okay. Survivaling. summoning things. She's tough as nails, hitting them with uh, ice spikes and still killing that ice wolf. Pretty impressive. Yeah, we're definitely not getting as cold like this. This is pretty awesome. I mean, look at him, though. He's, like, getting covered in frost. It looks like he is, anyway. I mean, does this guy look like he gets cold? No. Does he looks like look like he bathes in blood? A little bit. I'd like to be less of an evil vampire. It doesn't seem like I could be very dry or anything. Vampire perk progress increased. Uh, do we have any perks? Oh, we do have a perk. I mean, you'd think a cat person would already have a natural advantage in the cold, but... A vampire cat person? Am I moving slower? I think I'm getting, like, frozen. Where'd you come from? We're almost there.
then we have to make it back, but we could like float right across the water if we want. Is that something over there? In the distance? It sure looks odd. Oh, oops. Um... I'm okay with the dark. Wonder if that glitched it out. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I just asked if it glitched out. I think, I think it did. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it did glitch it out. <laughs> we got this, though. Is it not warm in here at all? Like, this guy's, like, dying in here? No, we're warming up in here. Dig, dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depths. Pardon me, I was having a drink. I've brought all the blood you require. I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Oh, I guess I'm not warming. Oh, there we go, I'm warming up again. Okay, that was a little weird. Mm-hmm. You done? Obviously not. Whoa, trippy bro. That's like rad cool. Ooh, what is this? The Ogma Infinium. What is this? It's... it's just a book. I can... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm gonna take those for my house. And I suppose we'll read the Ogma Infinium next time. So, until then, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like. I should have fed on him first. Subscribe if you want to see more, and leave me a comment. Let, let me know what you thought. This is Father of Two, signing off.